Hello everyone and welcome back. The idea I have today is I'm gonna be doing a watercolor rainbow and once that is all painted on and dried, I'm going to go in and stamp and then cover my stamps with my heat embossing powder to match the rainbow. I'm going with a rainbow today because it feels very springy and it feels appropriate for April showers, bringing me flowers and just the changing of the season. I have a square tip, three quarters paintbrush. If you have watercolor brushes or smaller brushes, something that doesn't look just quite like mine, that's okay. I like using these flat-ended brushes because it gets a really nice wash over the paper. And a wash is essentially how the paint covers the paper. Now with my heat embossing, I actually don't have purple, so I think I'm gonna exchange it out for pink. So with that said, let's see if I can kind of get like almost a magenta color, something right in the middle. No, that's quite dark. Now I'm gonna take my heat gun because I do have quite a bit of dampness on my paper just to expedite that drying process. Now that that's all good, let's open up our stamps. Today I'm really gonna be utilizing my peeps. And to do that, I'm looking at my paper right now, and I'm gonna start with my red. So what I have here is a Versamark watermark stamp pad. Um, so this is essentially a clear um, invisible ink that um, is able to pick up the heat embossing powder and therefore make it um, look exactly like the heat embossing without you know, you having to match up the pigments of your inks to the powder. So essentially, if I'm gonna be doing a black ink onto my paper with a red over it, it may look darker, it may not look exactly like the powder looks. So to avoid that, I can just take one of these um, clear inked pads. If you don't have any of these, my best advice would to match your inks to your pigments as best you can so that everything looks even and not muddy or cloudy. So you'll see exactly what I mean when I demonstrate this. Obviously you can't see it. <laughs> so if you have a hard time, you can kind of manipulate the paper back and forth and the light will reflect that clear pigment so that you can see. And then I'm just going to dump that and I have my little bunny. So as I explained a little bit in the beginning of the video, I do want my bunnies to match with the rainbow colors that I've already laid down using my paper towel. So my next color is going to be my orange. And as always, if you ever get any embossing powder on parts that you don't want. Just take a dry, clean brush and just wipe it off. I'm 
gonna do my best not to totally over pour onto the other side. If you wanna heat emboss in between, you can. My paper is just already so warped already. The heat of it from the heat gun is going to alter it some more, so I'm just, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna see what happens. Looks pretty good. Now you may be wondering, where is the yellow? I don't have it. So I'm gonna cheat my way to getting that yellow embossed look. I have a yellow pigment ink and a clear powder that will set that nice bright yellow um, and make it nice and reflective. So if that ever happens to you, look around, see what you have in I'm just going to just kind of guard a little bit so it doesn't get everywhere. I took that Remarks dye plate cleaning solution and just sprayed directly onto my dye plate. Got my green, stamps all clean. Got it nice and inked up. And I'm just gonna go again. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my heat gun. All right, so that was actually a pretty cool effect that I got with uh, the heat embossing powder. Um, in addition to my watercolor background, so I think um, I think that was an experiment well worth it There are also so many different kinds of heat embossing um, Pigments that you can get some are more metallic like my orange and green while some are glittery like this red and even this blue is uh, marketed as tinsel so Lots of different things that you could experiment with um, and I think they're pretty cool. All right, so now I'm ready to glue this sucker down. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm really gonna coat the paper in a lot of tape. You might be thinking, well, can I just use watercolor paper? And I would say, yes, you can. However, watercolor paper gets very expensive very quickly, and it's quite heavily textured because of its ability to absorb water. So keep those things in mind. If you want a really smooth surface type of paper, the higher um, pound cardstock, the better but watercolor paper is certainly available. But yeah, just keep in mind, it's expensive, it's thick, and it has a lot of texture on it. So now I have my small block again, and I'm gonna go with the phrase hippity hoppity. All right, I'm going to go back in with my clear stamp pad, and I'm just going to get that clear pigment onto the first word, which is hippity. And then I'm going in with my white heat embossing powder. Looks pretty good. Um, if you have any lifting, it's really nice to get this fine line liquid glue. It has this really tiny little tip that you can get some really nice exact spreads of glue. I 
I have some little pearls and some little gems, but I think I'm gonna kind of go with some colored gems that go with my little bunnies. Now that is the end of my hippity hoppity heat embossed card. I actually really enjoyed making this one and looking at it straight on, not from bird's eye down, I'm pretty happy with it. It's got some nice dimension with our heat embossing, some really fun watercolors, and then just some cute additional embellishments. Um, here I went in with my rhinestones to make them look like their little noses, but maybe you give them little belly buttons or little earrings, or maybe you just have some gems um, around them instead. But this is a perfect greeting card to send someone for springtime or Easter, or just to give them a quick hello. Now we would love to see what you will make using our clear stamps. So when you share a photo on social media, please hit us with a hashtag stamp with us. Again, that is hashtag stamp with us. We love to see what you guys will make next. Thanks for joining.